start off with some rapid fire news. I'm gonna go through these news a lot really quick, really fast before I get into the bitch stuff. All right, we'll start off with Inside Out 2 is now become the number one anime movie of all time. Netflix Extraction 3, the one with Chris Hemsworth, it's in early development. They're saying right now it's being written out, trying to figure out what to do, but we will get a third movie eventually. Two movies that are looking for a director, Spawn, the reboot that'll be coming out from Blumhouse, and I Am Legend 2. Rumors is Will Smith is coming back for that. I'm not sure how, but there is an alternative ending for the original movie. Check that out and you might make a lot more sense. But with I Am Legend 2, they're actually looking at Kevin Cable Jr. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, but he directed the last Transformers, the Rise of the Beast, which was an okay good movie. Percy Jackson on Disney Plus is the second season, of course, we're going to get it, but they're now starting to cast new roles in this. So that shows you that Percy Jackson it will be filming here soon. It'll be coming out on Disney Plus most likely next year. Also, speaking of Disney Plus, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Max have all come out now as this one bundle deal, which is actually a really good deal. So if you can get it, I would highly recommend it. In a Violent Nature 2, the sequel is actually getting announced. A lot of people leading up to the first movie, this is coming out on Shudder, by the way. 13th is when this movie will be coming out on Shudder. But the first movie, again, a lot of people were actually like, this. oh, this looks really good, looks really good. But then the ending, everyone wants to talk about the ending of the first movie, how it's just was not what they were expecting. So that fact of the getting a second movie kind of surprises me. But yet again, if it made enough money, why not? Creature Commando, we know the trailer just dropped yesterday. And we actually have a release date, and that's December. We don't know when it is December, but it's 2024. And that'd be streaming on Max. And that's the anime for James Gunn's brand new DCU universe. So... This is kind of the start of that before we get the live action of Superman coming next year. Speaking of Superman, they're almost done filming it right now, but there are some people that are done filming. For example, Nick Holt that's playing Lex Luthor. He has done filming the Superman movie. So they have a couple more weeks left. I think now they're down in Atlanta, Georgia. They were in Cleveland for six weeks. So that'll be done here soon. Netflix, if you're a big fan of the Peaky Blinders TV series, we all know that they're coming out with the movie and Celia Murphy will be in it. Awesome. He just won an Oscar. Cannot wait. But now they're casting Rebecca Ferguson as going to be part of that movie. If you like the movie Free Guy, you know, with Ryan Reynolds and the same director, Sean Levy, that did Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, you would think they would get a second one, right? No, P has confirmed it's looking like we're never going to get a sequel for Free Guy 2, at least not anytime soon. It's going to be very, very busy. Jordan Pele, you know, the director of Get Out, Nope, and Us. He has that really good sci-fi horror vibe. Well, he's going to bring that as a producer to this brand new reboot of the Scare Tactics. It's like a, you know, like prank what Ashton Kutcher did, but it's kind of more, this is going to be a lot more scarier, but it's pretty much pranking reality. No one's going to get hurt, but the fact that Jordan Pele is going to be involved, very interesting. Bruce Campbell, he is hinting that we're going to get two more Evil Dead movies. I don't know if he's going to be part of it or it's going to be like a sequel to what we had or it's just going to be something completely else. I'm not too sure, but the fact that he's heavily involved in the franchise and he's saying we're going to get at least two more, I'm going to say maybe with him in it because that would be actually really, really cool. All right, next up I want to talk about is The Boys. The spinoff is confirmed and it's called Voigt Rising. Voigt Rising? I cannot pronounce it. V-O-U-G-H-T. Vought Rising. Yes, it's all about the 1950s New York of the rise of the corporation and Jensen Achilles, his superhero character, so to speak, is going to be the center focus of this spinoff. And it's also, he's, yes, confirmed we'll be back for the fifth and final season for The Boys. And that is it for Rapid Fire, guys. So let's move on to some bigger news. Streaming, streaming. We all love streaming stuff. It looks like physical media in a couple of years is going to be gone forever. And here I am with VHS. But anyway, I got an update with some streaming. Fall Guy will be coming out Peacock August 30th. The Bike Riders, they'll be also coming out Peacock August 9th. But I said this before, but in a violent nature, the original movie will be coming out on Shutter September 13th. So there's three movies right there that will be coming out here on streaming here soon. 